essential tools when you're um, emptying a toilet is eyewear protection. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'm just really excited to get outside. I'm really excited, so let's go. We hadn't processed the stress of no. the week of the breakdown. Oh, that was such a good surf session. The waves were so good, they were so fun. Hi everyone, and welcome to our channel. We are Hannah and Johnny, also known as Finding Our Adventure. In 2020, we converted our Ford Transit to live in full time. Since then, we've been on an endless adventure with our two cats, Tia and Skye, exploring, living and working in our tiny home. Join us each week for a new episode of Finding Our Adventure. Good morning everybody and welcome to another episode of Finding Our Adventure. Today we have got a very exciting episode planned. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're off to do our laundry. <laughs> it's, um, it's a chore day today and we've just arrived in the town in Portugal known as Little Venice of Portugal. So we're going to go do some chores today and then we are going to go explore later, maybe even tomorrow, the Little Venice of Portugal. Yeah, but first we've got to find an ATM. Yep. So we've had to go find an ATM this morning because we don't have any cash for the laundry. and. Um, first one we went to was out of order and then we looked at the next one it was like a 10 minute walk away and as soon as we started walking we just saw a Santander, there so we went in there and got some cash that's nice and easy because our cars whatever we don't know what so actually a card machine inside that works so we're gonna go to our laundry now and get nice fresh clothing Our washing is all clean and dry and it cost us 11 euro 60 which is not too bad actually we that's used really not too bad for two oh, washing, washing machines and two dryers yeah so we're pretty chuffed with that so number one chore of the day is done gonna head back to the van and see if we can empty our toilet there was a queue earlier so um yeah heading back to the van now so second major chore of the day is emptying the toilet which we haven't actually emptied since before the breakdown and it's very full and very heavy so um and very smelly <laughs> and very smelly and because the um actual motorhome parking over there is full we're gonna have to walk 50 meters so oh it's quite heavy to carry that far but we'll get there to work out also essential tools when you're um, emptying a toilet is eyewear protection <laughs> <laughs> you need gloves though as well It's the worst when you can hear it sloshing around. Oh. <laughs> Made it to the station. We won't film this bit because it will put you off if you're eating right now. Oh, I can see floaters in there. <laughs> Next job is recycling. Okay, so the last chore of the day is filling up our water tank. So we are now gonna do that. There's been a long queue, so we've just been waiting to get in, get the water, and now it's our turn. Fail. So our adapter doesn't work here, so I'm just gonna go ask one of the other fans. Johnny's managed to get another hose from someone else who's kindly let us borrow it. And it seems to fit. <laughs> And that's all the chores done for the day and we have half an hour till sunset and we're just uploading the next couple of videos onto YouTube and I think we're gonna start getting dinner ready and then get ready to explore tomorrow. Morning everybody, so we have made it to the town of Aveiro which is also known uh, sometimes as the Venice of Portugal 
and that's because they have these beautiful colourful boats that go up and down the canal and they used to be used for bringing in seaweed but today they're just being used for tour tourists going up and down the canal. So we've spent lots of time exploring the town, it's so beautiful, there's lots of lovely churches and there's ceramic tiles covering the buildings and we've now just treated ourselves to a local treat, it's called a tripper I think and it's kind of like, uh, they think they, I think they describe it as like an undercooked crepe, um, they look really thick and inside them one of them's got Toblerone and the other one's got after eight and then they sprinkle cinnamon on top. So we are going to dig into these now. So we've made it to the salt works and it's basically where when the tides come in it fills up a reservoir and then fills up these um, basins and salt is formed. So we're just going to walk around here now and see what it's all about. So the lighthouse is so tall and the sun's setting behind it that you can see behind me we've got the massive shadow of the, uh, the lighthouse tower so um, yeah it's really cool um, it's very different from like UK ones though because it's got like a big building all the way around the base as well so we can't actually get that close to it but it's, um, it's very cool to see good morning everybody we have driven about an hour and a half south from where we were yesterday to the surf town of Nazare and we're out and about and we're going to go explore we're going to go see the viewpoint of the famous beach and just have a good time. The sun is out today, it's a beautiful blue sky and we're really looking forward to it. around here there's barbecues everywhere they've got the prawns on the barbecue and it just smells amazing <laughs> everywhere we're walking so it's oh, making us feel yeah. very hungry but we have just had lunch so we're able to resist so far it's just a very nice smell to enjoy isn't yeah it? and actually Nazare it's really beautiful we've got a church behind us just there and it's a square area it's really cool so we're just going to continue exploring around and head to the beach So 
we're just heading down to the beach now, which makes Nazare famous. And this is where the biggest surfable waves in history have been recorded of up to 30 meters. And um, today it's very flat, so there's not really any surfing conditions today, but over from, I think it's from October till spring is where the big waves roll in. And I think the, um, the geography of the seabed is what makes it so extreme here and can really get the waves coming in. And um, if you go and YouTube, um, big waves in Nazareth, you'll see exactly what we mean, but they are insane to see. And a couple of years ago, this place was packed full of vans and people were coming to see the waves that were some of the biggest in the, last, in the most recent years. And uh, yeah, it's really cool to see and we're just gonna carry on exploring now. This ice cream is really good, but we are being, we're influencing right now because we're sitting outside the ice cream <laughs> shop on a bench and literally everybody's walking past us and seeing us eating our ice cream and they're like, ooh, and it's a few people have like turned around and gone back into the shop. So maybe this could be our new job, just sitting eating ice cream outside ice cream shops and... Um, that would be your dream job, <laughs> wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's very good. The perfect way to cool down because it's been so hot and we just walked back up the hill. So, very nice. It is a very hot day here in Nazare in Portugal but one of the things we absolutely loved about being in Portugal is just everybody here is so chilled like you can just feel that everybody's just like yeah it's all good like life's good everybody just seems very happy smiley and it's just got just such a nice feel to it um, which has definitely helped us since the breakdown of the van. It's helped us to feel chilled and to feel like we have no worries again. So it's uh, it's been a very nice experience so far in Portugal. And we're just heading back to the van now. Um, and not sure what we're gonna do later on. We're just gonna go back and figure out what we're gonna do next. All right, do you wanna just uh, fill everybody in on what just happened? So we we're just walking back down the hill from um, the town, back to the van obviously. And um, this always seems to happen to us whenever we go traveling somewhere. We were just, uh, not this exact situation, but first aid situation. So there was a scooter that had stopped to let a car out and this old man on his scooter behind wasn't aware of what was happening and he just went straight into the back of him. And it wasn't a big impact, but it was enough to throw the old man off and um, he hit his elbow pretty hard and it was all scuffed up. There's a whole group of people like kind of rushed to him and then they kind of just stand around staring at him. So I get there, not trying to blow my own trumpet or anything, but like get him out of the road, check his elbow and stuff. And then someone had a bottle of water and some wet wipes. So I cleared up his wounds and stuff. And it was just superficial grazing, but he was clearly in shock and stuff. And the guy that he hit into was straight away, was like insurance details, trying to get on the phone and stuff and drag him away. And it was just like trying to calm the situation down and make sure like the old guy was okay first and make sure his elbow wasn't broken or anything like that. But it's just, um, yeah, I mean, if, if you're interested in first aid, definitely get go do a first aid course because especially if you're traveling, this kind of stuff happens fairly often. And also if you're in a, you know, like for me and Hannah, if any of us got into trouble, at least we'd have some kind of a idea of what to do in situations like this. But right now I need to go wash my hands because I've got some blood on my hands. Good evening, everybody. We have just arrived in the surf town of Peniche and we are just in time for sunset. It's about 50 minutes. We've driven south from Nazare and we've just got to the beach in time for sunset and the waves look perfect. So we're hoping they stay like this for tomorrow and then we can get in the water and do some surfing ourselves. Yeah, they look like perfect beginner waves. Yeah. So we can just kind of catch them and roll it back in. Yep. So hopefully, yeah, it's the same tomorrow. <laughs> Since we've had the van fixed, we've been feeling a little bit off the last few days. And I think it's because of all the stress of sorting the van out and everything. And then obviously there's, there's that anxiety when you've just broken down and had a big breakdown. And as soon as you start driving again, you feel like every little noise or any sound is gonna be another breakdown. And obviously it's not, the van's been fine since it's been fixed, but it just makes you feel a bit strange and a bit, um, I don't know, just throwing us off our game a little bit. And um, for me getting here today, to 
be able to spend the next few days surfing and just chilling on the beach and stuff is going to be a really good reset because I think we're just both exhausted at the moment um, from all the stress and everything. I don't know how you feel. Yeah, no, it's just been a bit... I don't think we've realised, but we've just been kind of carrying on as is and then we've not really realised how much it's affected us. Um, and then at the time, we were just dealing with it, dealing with it, dealing with it. And then once we got on the road, I think we thought we were going to feel like, yeah, we're free, which we did. But mm. then at the same time, we we hadn't spent really time to like, a bit with it. we hadn't we hadn't processed the stress of no. the week of the breakdown. And then we got straight back on the road, and we've been doing a lot of driving again since then. And I think all of that stress and the emotional stress of the breakdown has caught up with us and we're just feeling absolutely exhausted at the moment so we both woke up this morning feeling pretty rough <laughs> and um obviously oh, we yeah. really enjoyed exploring around Nazare and we've we we both felt pretty rough before we drove here but as soon as we got here and we had a conversation in the car saying that we're just going to reset for the next few days and not worry about our next destination we're just going to spend a few days here yeah. and immediately we feel like a weight's been lifted off our shoulders i think the constant traveling as well is, is something that i don't think i realize that every day keeping to find new places has been quite exhausting yeah there is an element of um, decision fatigue that happens in any traveling and we you know over the years we've got used to that like we're used to making a million decisions a day where we're going to sleep what we're going to do that day and so that's not necessarily the issue in itself it's just that's the added stress and pressure on top of the pressure and stress yeah, like that we're already much. feeling yeah so <laughs> we just need a couple of days now where we can just stay in one spot and completely reset and then i'm sure we'll be feeling a million times better in a couple of days yeah just gotta yeah. take it slow yeah so we're really excited to be here the waves are looking fantastic and we can't get out wait to get out on the surfboard tomorrow to everybody so what's just happened um we had a bit of an accident the uh, the pasta fell out the cupboard <laughs> everything just falls out these cupboards well, that is something that we need to figure out don't we yeah i need to put some bungee cords on I mean, some shelves in here we do need some shelves look in at here. this i mean we need help <laughs> i've just never got around to building any shelves in here but the pasta fell and of all the things to explode oh. the pasta exploded yeah well now we need to find something to put well, it we've in. got some tupperware somewhere haven't we uh, if not we just chuck it in the box i mean what's going to happen it's just dry oh, pasta this <laughs> guy's trying to ease it Good morning everybody. I think we have to make a slight correction. Last night we called it Peniche where we are and I think it's actually Peniche and um, yeah. we've just walked down to the beach this morning. Bit of a bit of a grey one this morning but we think it's going to burn off later. But the waves are huge this morning. I think there's quite a, a lot of wind out to sea but the waves are massive. So yeah, I think we're just going to walk rolling, around yeah. walk around town this morning explore but yeah everyone's getting absolutely wiped out from these <laughs> waves so <laughs> we're going to avoid those for now and hope they calm down a bit later. Yeah we'll just we'll observe from a distance but there are some nice rolling ones a bit further in. Yeah so, so we'll see for later. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning everybody. So we have woken up in Peniche. No, Peniche. Peniche. <laughs> We've woken up in Peniche and we are really excited because today we are going surfing. And where we're parked up at the moment, it's really, really cool. There's loads of other vans here, lots of other surfers, and it's just got a really nice feel. This morning we went and got some surf wax, so we are ready to wax up our boards. We're pretty much dressed now. We've got our bags ready and we're gonna head out to the surf. Some creaming up. <laughs> I'm ready. Hopefully I stand up a few times this time. But look, the waves look really, really good. Like they're really nice, like long rolling waves. And today doesn't seem as busy as yesterday. Today it's Sunday and yesterday was really busy straight away. So I think everybody's gonna start coming late in the afternoon. It's about maybe just before midday now. So we're going to crack out there now and... Crack out there. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just really excited to get outside. I'm really excited, so let's go.
such a good surf session. The waves were so good, they were so fun. Did I think we managed to capture some of it on the GoPro, but we were just having so much fun. I don't know what the time is now and how long we were out there for, but yeah, that I think that was the best surfing we've done since um, La Porge in France on the west coast. That was just so much fun. We haven't done much surfing since then, have we? No, we've done beer ritz and oh, stuff. Oh yeah, we did beer ritz. We did all the beer ritz <laughs> and um, Ozigol and stuff like that, but yeah, that was just such a great session. Really happy, and even Hannah was standing up. Yeah. Even I was standing up, but I am wearing a spring suit, which means that my legs are out and the water is pretty chilly today. Johnny, When Johnny went out, it was nice and sunny and then when I went out, it, the clouds blew over and I was just like, ooh. Yeah. So feel, we feel really cold now. I've got goosebumps on my arms and now we're going to get some lunch going. I'm thinking something warm to warm <laughs> us up. So yeah maybe same time tomorrow i think so i think if the if the waves are like surfing. this tomorrow we'll check the forecast but if they're good tomorrow as well we'll go uh we'll go do another session tomorrow but it's just so cool here like all the vans it's got such a cool surf culture and it's really uh, nice behind you though with the, yeah looks like you're in bali or somewhere <laughs> it's like a, it looks like a big like um i don't know cornfield or something but it's not but yeah it's really cool so i think we're gonna get changed quickly now and then go get some lunch hello what have you been doing? Have you been eating your new food? Good afternoon everybody. We had such an epic surf earlier and then after our surf we went back to the van and made some really yummy lunch. Hannah made some really nice eggs and I went to the shop and got some really nice rolls. And then we just um, chilled out a bit and then we've come to the beach. And um, the weather actually cleared earlier and it was got really hot like five minutes after we got back from surfing. And um, it's, the clouds are rolled in again a bit now but it's been such a nice afternoon. We've just been watching the surfers and just relaxing, really. Yeah, it's been a super chill day, other than the surfing. Yeah. So. <laughs> so we're thinking kind of a similar sort of plan tomorrow. We might get up, see what the weather's like, go for a surf again tomorrow, and then we might head round and find a park up in the actual town itself because there's loads of things going on there, and just to um, have a change of scene. But we're absolutely loving where we're staying at the moment. I said to Hannah earlier, it feels like a festival because you've got all the surfers, all the vans parked there and it's just a really cool yeah, vibe. Yeah, the park up's really cool. Yeah. Like it feels very safe and there's like everybody's just having a great time. Yeah. Everybody's chilled, everybody's, it's clean, it's, yeah. you know, it's, it's just a really cool environment and it feels like we could just, you know, with, and the this, this supermarket up the road is really nice as well, it's very small but very nice. So it feels like we could just stay here endlessly. It's hard to leave, would not it? Yeah, <laughs> which is one of our favourite places we've been. It's just a very cool vibe around here. So I think we're going to, stay here for a few more minutes and then um, wander back to the van and make some dinner in a bit. We have spent this morning working in the van and we've just been waiting for the clouds to basically burn off so that we can go for a surf. So that's what we're going to be doing this afternoon and then after that I think we're going to actually head into the main town of Paniche and go and see what there is there. We've just had a really good surf session, well mostly Johnny, I was just watching today. But the sun is out, we're very happy to be out in the sunshine and it has been an incredible time here in Paniche. We've just had like the best place haven't we to park yeah, up. It's been so good. Surf, like we've literally been a couple minutes walk from the beach every day, like it couldn't get any better could it? Yeah and this place is just so cool with all the vans and yeah. you know it's just, like i said yesterday it feels like a festival here surf festival we've just been surfing today it's been so good the weather's been beautiful and uh yeah just had an amazing time yeah and we've just loved like looking at all the vans and going oh that's really cool i love that van <laughs> <laughs> and being really nosy and the cats have loved it too it's kept them entertained so yes we're going to head off and get some stuff from the shops today for a late lunch and then we're thinking maybe head to the beach for sunset and then head into the town to maybe tomorrow I think so our plans keep changing and they could change again but yeah really really like it here and definitely would recommend it. 
and that's the end of this week's episode so don't forget to join us next week as we continue our adventures through Portugal and um, yeah thank you so much for supporting us don't forget to give us a comment and a like down below and subscribe if you like what you're watching and we'll see you guys next week bye